So I'm gonna take the Cursus Teratos and turn it into percussion because everything I do usually is percussion. And this is such a beautiful oscillator and it has lots of different different timbres um, that it sounds great turning into a full monophonic drum machine. So I start with a low pitch and then I'm gonna go into my trigger sequencer and I'm gonna start a little pattern which is gonna be my kick drum. Um, so since this is a, a low pitch, we create a kick drum by going into uh, envelope with a nice exponential curve. And I'm gonna take that envelope output I'm gonna run into a mixer because we're gonna be putting a lot of different sources into the one volt per octave. So the envelope goes into the mixer, which goes into the one volt per octave. And there we go, we have a kick drum. So I do a little sequence. And for the snare, I like to usually just take a noise source or just a, an oscillator. Um, uh, audio rate. So let's just try like maybe the sawtooth from this oscillator. Let's try out the source sounds. Let's use that, but I'm gonna put that to a VCA. is going to the mixer, which is going to the one volt per octave, and then I have to take another channel on my trigger sequencer and put down the sequence for the snare. being constant, we're going to put the audio output into another VCA. So for this one, I'm just going to use um, the Optimix. So I'm going to take the audio out, run it into the Optimix. And since this has a strike input, I'm going to use, well, okay. I'm going to use a strike input to get little snappy percussive stuff. So I'll make a sequence with that. And I'm going to use another channel of the sequencer and go into another envelope, which will use the Synclastic Epilatrix. And this envelope is going to have a sequence to just open up uh, certain parts to accent like where the snare would be and maybe a couple of the kicks that way you get the little snappy plucking and then the more pronounced open of the PCA. That one kind of sounds like a duck. <laughs> Usually in my percussion anyways, yeah, I do stuff that's a little unconventional. And then now that we have something that's similar to a beat, like a kick and some maybe laser zap snares. Now I'm just gonna mess with um, the certain parameters on the cursus to see what other tones we come up with.
way that I do a monophonic drum machine. I could take um, other sequencers like the voltage block and mess with a bunch of the parameters or run some LFOs to it. Um, or it's just cool, you know, to run it, uh, mess with it with your hand. Let's open up the envelope a little more. could take a sequencer and also run that into a CD sequencer into the one volt proctive. Um, we had to keep low pitch like on the kick, but maybe the, the snare type of sound we could put um, higher voltage up to create like a more laser type sound. Um, and maybe in between the kick and the snare, do like a couple um, notes to that way you'll hear like a kick, uh, a couple notes of a bass line and then the laser snare. So let's mess with it right now. I'm gonna use this voltage block. Now that I put some notes in, let's try that out. basically it just just mess with it have fun some a weird way to do you know glitchy idm percussion or you know turn to electro whatever you want to do that's one of the things i try and do and once i have that set up sometimes i take um that same pitch um everything that's going into the pitch cv you know there's uh, a couple different envelopes and a uh, other oscillator fm it um I'll try it with different oscillators, you know, like let's actually, you know what let's do right now. Let's see how that sounds with the low quality. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 